everybody. Angry Car Salesman here, Facebook gaming streamer. Today I want to be going through a quick guide, uh, tip little session for <clears throat> Art of the Trickster, which is chapter 6 of the Tall Tales. Art of the Trickster is actually going to start on Plunder Valley at the southeast uh, corner of the island. I would tell you east, but if you go actually direct east, you'll be in range of the cannon, which you'll see right there. And it'll mess your boat up. So the southeast tip here is fine. By the boat wreck, you're going to go to the campfire, which you'll see right there. And at the campfire, you're going to see Salty. And Salty there will be where you actually start this mission off at. So we're going to go ahead and get that going. Talking parrot. Looks like it's back to the stale bird seed for me. Truth be told, no one's seen the trap maker in ages. I did find these notes she left behind, though. Seems to me she was put to work designing traps for old Briggsy herself. Looks like she left a trail to follow that leads all the way to Briggsy's stash. Maybe you can use them to track it down. Squawk, just watch your step. The trap maker has a, a very particular sense of humor. <clears throat> Maybe come tell your old mate Salty if you find her, yeah? Not that it's partly his fault she was kidnapped or anything, you understand, but... Spock! Spock! Bye for now! Alright, so after Salty there gets through squawking at you, you're gonna open up your book, and you'll have the story that you can read. Basically, in essence, I'm looking at page 3, telling you that it's deep. They're deep it lies <clears throat> near Bird of Stone. That is going to be here on Plunder Valley. Um, that'll be the next location you go, and it's going to be a cave uh, with skeletons that you can move around. And if you look on the right page, you actually have to make these skeletons do what the right page is showing. So I'm going to get you guys to the entrance of that cave, and we'll continue it there. Okay, so step two of Art of the Trickster. Is if you remember there on the beach where we talked to Salty, you're going to run up this valley that's right here. You're going to run all the way down. This bird statue is going to be on the left. You remember that from the book. We're going to go into the tunnel. You're going to see a, the very first torch on the right. That torch you're going to turn left. You're going to run down here. You're going to take the first right that you can take. And it brings you into this room with all the skeletons. You have to know the pattern of these skeletons. Um, so when you're reading it, at the very bottom right, the thief that hides her mask of gold, and then the rum runner laid her drink to rest. This is your thief. You can see it holding the mask of gold. Um, this might give you a better view, but there's your mask. Your rum runner is there, with the grog tankard. This one here is going to be the Forsaken Captain. And this one here is going to be the lovers, okay? So you don't have to do it in any particular order, just whatever order you're comfortable with. But the lovers, you want to make them hold hands. The captain, you want to mess with him to get his arm pointed towards that campfire. The rum runner, you want the tanker down. And this one here, the thief, put the mask on. You hear the trap activate. Or not trap, but the mechanic activate. And then right here, as this cage comes down, you're going to see it holding the spyglass and some papers. You're going to want to collect those. Right. We've got a gunpowder skelly, so let's get out of here on that one. That'll solve that. Alright. We're going to go on to step three of Art of the Trickster. I'll walk you guys through how to dig up the next three parts. Okay, so step three of Art of the Trickster. Kind of basically show you how this is going to work. Um, you're going to be looking at maps that will reference the trickster symbols. Okay, So if I flip over, here's the first map, and it references the trickster symbol. Okay. This isn't the correct symbol, but I'm just showing you how this works. Um, so at the bottom of that map, the photo, it's going to give you two 
things you got to look for. You're going to pull out your spyglass. And you're going to look at the symbols. So like if this was our symbols, you're going to line them up with the eyes. And then where the mouth is opened, you're going to see the X or the crack in the spyglass. That's where you're actually going to dig. Okay. So doing this very first one, um, for us, now, the other thing is too, you're either going to wind up on Discovery Ridge or you're going to be on Plunder Valley. And it tells you on the left page. So for us, it's Plunder Valley. Um, so that's a plus side for us, but we got to work our way around to the overhanging rock. Part of this is, you know, once you do it enough, you'll figure it out, but that's an overhanging rock. So there's only one spot on Plunder Valley that has that. Um, so we're going to work our way over there. And then you basically get one, and when you dig it up, you'll get number two. And then you dig up number two, and you'll get number three. Now number three is the tricky part. Number three is going to be when you dig it up, you're going to have explos explosives that you have to watch out for. Okay? So, and I'll show you what I mean when that happens. But So caged inside a kind of brig near broken urn, a place to dig. So if you're looking out here on the beach... You're going to see a broken urn and the cage, and then you're going to see right there next to the grass where that pig is walking. That's where we dig. I'm going to run down here. I'm going to dig. Okay. Pop up. Trap maker's notes. I pick them up. I flip the number two. Okay. So, you're looking again. This time it looks like we're on a rock. <clears throat> that is going to be across or across from the overhanging area that so we're going to have to go back up in the middle up in there usually a way up here with plunder we'll run past the waterfall and the overhanging rock got to refill our ammo because of that gunpowder skelly we to load up on some supplies This one here I actually have not done, so we, we're going to be learning this together. That's always plus a big plus side for a tutorial video, right? You get to learn with the guy giving you the video, what to do and where to dig. That's always a good thing. It's called teamwork. This up there, if I go. So we're going to go up here. And we're going to check up here on the rocks because if you remember, it kind of looked like it was on a rock. Down below us as well. Right there. Okay, so here, this reads, Rum and gold drown my grief, buried for an accused thief. If I had to guess, rum and gold, up right there, I, I guarantee that. So we're gonna dig right next to that rock, if we can remember that, we'll jump down here. So rum and gold, rum is there. It looks like dead guy. Might have died from drinking. Big. Yep, that's the spot. Okay. Trap maker notes. Your third one's gonna be right here. <clears throat> um, well, this one here is not too bad. So it says once soaring through the sky with pride, now crawling in the earth to hide. Okay. So we're gonna run back to that valley kind of towards our ship, which is the east side there. We're heading in the actual general direction, that's good. Look at our book again. We have rocks, trees. We need to be up here on this area. There's the rocks that we're part of, so we should be going to be looking for the trap maker's symbol, or the trickster symbol, however you would reference that. One right here, but is that it? Okay. Actually looks like it might be on the other side, facing this way. Kind of looks like the... Uh, 
this. Okay, unless that's tree rocks. Well, if you look, one soaring through the sky with pride, now crawling in the earth to hide. That butterfly is not big enough to fit in there. Facing this way, the crashed boat would be up there. Okay, that's why. That's what makes me think it's on that side. So I'm gonna go over there. Just jump and avoid these skellies. Take some damage. Get some fruit. Get that potassium in us. All right. So now we're going this way. One thing we want to look for is symbols that reference eagle. Yep, okay. Right there. Should be right there's your trickster symbol. Okay. And you're going to be looking at that eagle and the bug, so that makes sense. Flying through the sky and then bug. So here's the thing when I dig this, this whole valley is going to start exploding. That's going to make it dangerous. So I'm literally going to have to dig. Because <clears throat> it should start exploding like right over here. So I'm going to have to dig. Run up the valley. And then back up to where I'm at. And over to the boat. Okay. Because The reason I'm <clears throat> going that long way around is. Is if you dig and you actually die. Um, from the explosion. It'll detonate the key as well. I'll have to start all over. So. I dig and here we go. Oh, explosion is starting to lock this time. That's a plus. That's just close into the boat. You can hear him exploding. Say so you can actually see him exploding. The island's gonna basically explode until... There's only like so many of them, but it explodes down that pathway towards you. So you get to your boat as quick as you can. Alright, so this is an active gunpowder barrel, so you need to put it wherever you feel the safe. Okay, this obviously isn't safe, but we're just doing it right now. And then the next place you're going to go, read the book on the left, is going to be Sailor's Bounty. Okay, so we're going to head to Sailor's Bounty, and I'm going to show you all what to do with the key. I'll see you there. Alright everybody, so we're here at Sailor's Bounty. We have the Trickster's Key, or Trap Maker's Gunpowder Key, sorry. Um, you're going to go down in the middle of the island where the caves are. And taking this gunpowder with you, again, you have to be careful, especially if you're doing it solo. Um, just because you don't want to set off any traps and get yourself killed. And at the same token, I guess really, if you're doing it with a crew, you don't want them being crazy and stepping on a trap either. So again, go to the center here, you're going to drop down in the cave, hang a right, you got the cave on the left, and there's another cave over on the other side, but you just go in the cave and head down. And these little wooden platforms here, that's what you want to look out for, because if you step on those, it sets off the traps, okay? Sometimes you'll get unlucky like I just did and have skeletons spawn on you. Oh. Alright, so if you step on those, traps are set off, so your best way is to hop. Just pretend like you're playing Mario. I almost stepped on that one. Go around that one. On that one. Hop that one. Dance around that one. Skip, skip, hop. 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 And hop again. You go through these doors. And you're going to come down below in this big area. Okay. And basically jump down. And look for the trickster's mark. And you're going to walk through. 
Now in here there's traps and there's no, there's nothing to set them off. They're just always there. So you gotta know your timing. Also, when you run through these traps, if you touch any of those wooden poles, you automatically die and your barrel explodes. Just so you know. This one's the fun one because they pulsate, but it's three pumps. And then the next one, the middle comes out. One, two, three, and then the outside ones come out. So one, two, three. They start going in, you step out. One, two, three. They start going in, you step out. There's their three, and you step on through. That gets you through the traps, okay? And this is the room where you'll actually place the key. Right there on the pedestal. I always have to make sure. I have plenty of supplies. Before I put this on here, just so you know, there's a lever on each side. So the two side levers will actually throw spikes up here in the middle, which you can use to help kill skeletons. And you got a lever on each side straight ahead that drop the big swinging uh, barbed, bladed holes to kill skeletons with. We'll put the key on, and we'll start these waves. best way to handle these waves kind of kite them all into one area okay you gotta know which lever you're gonna use so now we gotta kite backwards hit this lever that's it and then whatever's left you just kill and just remember you do have food in the barrels you can eat and it's always best to bring food with you Kite him again. Trap. Got them all but one. Again, on these traps you're setting off on the skeletons, if you touch the wood, you die. So keep that in mind. And just show you what the other ones do. I can always hit those. Okay, so you got the big slinging blades. You need to watch out for. Those only swing a couple of times. I went the wrong way with it. I should finish off that, that row, so let me eat and grab more food. Sometimes you can even knock the skeletons back into the traps and kill them too. Do a little rinse and repeat here. And you have, as you can see, several waves of skeletons you do actually have to kill. So. Once that trap is, or that key is set on there, by the way, it won't explode, so you should be okay.
guess I missed that guy. When the captain appears, note that the traps will actually take him out in one shot if you hit him, so. Second guy walking to it. So there's our captain. Let's get him kited over. Using the blunder. Should have won it. Oh! No, 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 no. Smart captain, apparently. Let's give him a push. And when he dies, you'll get trap maker notes, and you'll get a totem. So on these totems, the chance uh, most common totem is, is the moon totem, which takes you to Crescent Isle. Okay. Um, if you get the totem of the boar, you need to go to Devil's Ridge. If you get the crab totem, you need to go look on your map and look at grid coordinates N13. Of course, the moon totem is Crescent Isle. The scarab is Crook's Hollow. The snake totem is Mermaid's Hideaway. And the shark totem is Kraken's Fall. So, I'll see everybody at Crescent Isle so we can complete the fourth step, I believe, of this. Maybe fifth fifth step. Fifth step of this uh, tall tale. So I'll see you guys. Alright, everybody. So, step five for us took us to Crescent Isle with the moon totem. Okay. <clears throat> so, in case you get any other tall tales, I take you here with the moon totem as well. This will help you out with that. But... You're going to carry the totem in to Crescent Isle. You're going to look for the uh, little archway that's opened. I parked on the back side of it just because it'll be easier to leave for me instead of having to go all the way around the island. But you're going to go into this little opening by the barrels. You're going to see the moon symbols painted on the wall. You're going to place your totem. It'll open up your vault. So with Art of the Trickster, the bolt setup is a little different, okay? There's no riddle you got to solve down here or anything like that, but you're going to light the four brazers. Um, you do have to fight three skeleton captains. So it's the new floral skeletons that you saw during um, the Shroudbreaker quest, but basically it's two normals and a captain. When you kill the captains, you'll get a medallion. You'll place the medallion after you get all three. You'll hit this to open the door back up. So, Because once you light these brazers, um, that door stays open, this one comes down, and you grab the stone. Once you touch the stone, that door falls down. So, we'll get started. Go see the trickster symbol. Notice it's happening on the pedestal. Quick tip, you'll have some fruit that you can pick up here to eat on. There's your stone. Now I just take it and place it right in the middle here. I don't forget it because it does glow red. And your skeleton just starts spawning. Try to go to the captain first if you can. And you'll notice that he's pretty easy to kill. Pick up your medallion. Place the medallion. Wave two.
pick up the medallion. Place medallion. Wave three. medallion and place it enter your solution grab your stone go ahead right back out of the cave stone and we're going to head back off to Salty for turning in the uh, Art of the Trickster. I'll see everybody else back at Plunder Valley. Alright everybody, so you bring the Shroud Breaker Stone back here to Mr. Salty. Okay. So you, you found the trap maker, hey? And turn it in. I never meant for her to come to any harm, I swear it. But I had no choice. Princey would have had me for supper if I hadn't introduced them. And, and... I've been racked with guilt ever since she went missing. If I had feathers, they'd be molting. But now, you've inspired me to turn over a new leaf. I know I've been a bad egg, but it's time to mend my ways. And to show my appreciation, I'll deliver that gem of yours for only five... I mean, for free! Goodness in my heart and all that, you know? Now we're mates. Squawk! Alright, so that will actually complete the Art of the Trickster, Chapter 6 of the Tall Tales. Um, upon completion of that, of course, you'll unlock an achievement. Doing it five times, you'll unlock an achievement. The cosmetic rewards you can pick up from it are going to fall in the Reputation tab, Art of the Trickster. The first time, you'll get the Spyglass. second time, you'll actually pick up a new cap stand for your ship. Um, so, yeah. That completes Chapter 6, Art of the Tri Trickster, uh, for the Tall Tales. If you've enjoyed the video and it's helped you out in any way, please like the video um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel here for more Sea of Thieves tutorials as far as the Tall Tales go and journal locations for the Tall Tales. You can always find me streaming on Facebook at fb.gg slash angrycarsalesman. Uh, you can also search me through the Facebook app or through your browser on Facebook in the search bar, Angry Car Salesman. I will see everybody the next time. Thanks again for watching the video.